Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sage with another Terraria tutorial video and today we're going to be talking about the Black Belt. Now some people may be interested in where to get the Black Belt because you might have seen the Tiger Climbing Gear. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the Tiger Climbing Gear, I will find it. And it's right here. So you have the, uh, the Tiger Climbing Gear. We will, uh, I'll show you real quick. Some of you may have already noticed, but if you take the climbing gear over to the um, to the guide, and so many things happen at the same time. I'm forgetting simple words. It shows that you can get Master Ninja Gear, and to get the Master Ninja Gear, you need the Tiger Climbing Gear, the Tabby, and the Black Belt. Now, the Black Belt uh, part of it gives you a chance to dodge attacks. So, as far as I as far as I know, this is the only time in the entire game that you've actually been able to dodge attacks. So. The black belt itself can only be used to uh, craft the master ninja gear, which is, you know, actually uh, pretty damn cool. Uh, but the hasty black belt is dropped by Bone Lee, and Bone Lee is a unique dungeon mob that pops up. He's incredibly fast. He dashes at you and he attacks you. I'm not sure if he drops the tabby as well. So far, I've fought quite a few of them. Uh, they show up. They're not quite as rare as the Paladin in the Underground Dungeon, but they are one of the, you know, kind of rare uh, mobs that, that spawn down there. And a rare drop from them, being the Black Belt, it takes quite some time to actually achieve a Black Belt. Uh, you have to kill quite a few. So you may be farming for quite a while. I don't know about you guys, anyone who's played the game, who has been playing in hard mode, I've spent an inordinate, an, in, an inordinate amount of time in the underground dungeon because there are so many new enemies and items and things to explore and discover down there that it just it, it eats away at a lot of my time so the hasty black belt will give you a chance to dodge enemy attacks now for those of you who are curious exactly how that works as far as I can tell uh, basically any attack you have a small chance of dodging it and uh, so fly into this eyeball right here and uh, you've got a couple chances of dodging the attack. It's not guaranteed by any means. Basically, when other people are attacking you, sometimes you'll dodge it, sometimes you won't. That's just that's that's how it works. Uh, it works a lot better, I feel, on ranged attacks. Melee attacks, you have a much lower chance of actually dodging it. Uh, but it's just a randomly occurring dodge. It, it's not anything that you can activate, like the uh, the dash ability or anything like that. It's just like one time out of five you get like a 20 percent chance to dodge or something around that level which doesn't sound like much but when you couple it with several other things that you can have happen i mean one time out of five nullifying all damage that would ordinarily be done to you is actually is actually pretty darn good so uh as far as items go, the viable items go, I would say that this is actually a really good item. Uh, dodging attacks is always a plus, and if you combine it and get the Master Ninja Gear, then it's just a neat little thing. You can jump up walls, uh, so we can sit here and try to dodge these. The Ice Golem. Uh, still getting hit. You can see I dodged one of those beams. Back up. Oh my god, he just keeps coming. It's like the Terminator. He just doesn't want to stop. But you can see uh, we dodged a few attacks. Now, uh, unlike a lot of other items that you see in, in different... Uh, oh, they got the frost, we got frost leggings. Cool. So uh, now we can also... I can probably cut this out and uh, show you guys how to get frost leggings as well. Hooray for frost leggings! Uh, but, as you can see, nothing popped up. I did dodge quite a few of those beams, but it didn't pop up. It doesn't say dodge. You just you happen to dodge them. And, oh my god, I'm getting attacked by another one. Alright, we're going to wrap this video up right here. And I guess I'm going to jump right into another video on how to get the uh, frost items. So, this is Sage, and as always, ah, peace!